welcome any new subscribers. Oh my word, yes. we have seen... We've had a great influx of yes. newbies to the channel. We see and you. We see you. We and we're enjoying comments. having you. Yes, thank you and welcome. We love to have you. Thank you for everybody yes. that's commenting and talking yes. to us. Yes, it's been good. Responding. We enjoy it, yes. Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Mm -hmm. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife. Bename Orvi. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so, so you know, know when a new video comes out. Thank you. Okay, today, so today. we have a follow-up to a previous video. Yes. And we got these ideas from our subscribers, from yeah, you. Thank you so much. You know who you are. You're constantly communicating with us. Thank you. So, you said... If there are tips to how a white guy can approach a black girl, then there should be tips on how black girls can notice when a, a brother, white guy, I, yeah, a white guy is interested. Is interested. Okay, the title for today's video is mm -hmm. "Tips for Black Women: How to Know When a White Guy Is Interested." Okay, so after long talks um, between Jory and I mm -hmm. about how melanin queens can uh, identify whether or not a white guy is in fact interested, we came up with this. You must become a student of subtlety. I am sorry <laughs> to say that, but um, before we move on, I'll just say like, white, we're not talking about your average vanilla remix, like flavor, flavor like <laughs> white chocolate. That's not what we're talking about. Right. We're talking about your khaki wearing, <laughs> Sure, tucked in, button uh, up, button up um, that guy, yeah. that guy. We're talking about him. Yeah. How uh, do you recognize that? Because Jory is not flavored at all. <laughs> <laughs> so his approach to me was extremely subtle. And mm -hmm. um, I also did, we did a survey on Instagram and asked right. if, some of the white guys that approach their wives were subtle or like very straightforward. Right. So we're going to talk about that and you get to hear what we came up with, etc., etc. Okay. So what does it look like to become a student of subtlety? We're going to give you five things mm -hmm. that may help you to get better at noticing if a white guy is interested in you as a black girl. Okay, so number one is you have to test him by creating a low pressure environment for him to actually approach you. Right. I'm sorry to say this, but this <laughs> is just facts. Yeah. <laughs> you will find maybe a few white guys that are bold enough to just come straight at you mm -hmm. and say, hey, you're fine. Yeah. want to make you mine. Wow. But <laughs> It's unlikely that yes. that's usually going to be the case. That's right. So by creating a low pressure environment for him to approach you, mm -hmm. you will be able to weed out those who are just there mm -hmm. and who are more aware. Huh. What do you mean by there and then aware? Like, let's say, for instance, mm -hmm. you're in class, like say <laughs> math class yes. with someone uh -huh. and you're like, hmm, I wonder if he's interested. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just linger at the entrance of the gym after working out <laughs> since I notice he's about to pass by I'll right. just linger here and create a situation where it's just the two of us see, yes. alone in the foyer yes. and if he wanted to say something there would be no one around to That's hear right. mm -hmm. you know rejection level would be a little lower yeah. <laughs> you create an environment and if he passes by politely then eh, probably not a lot of interest. Yeah. But if he stops and says hello, then maybe there's more Let's to it. Let's talk about it. Okay. <laughs> so your khaki wearing, button down, tuck shirt in white guy is usually subtle, mm -hmm. very subtle in nature, and um, doesn't always know how to express themselves or don't want to express themselves around a large group of people. Mm -hmm. So they do things in a subtle manner. Yes. Um, it does not mean they don't have uh, intensity uh, of interest towards you. Does that make right. sense? Intense feelings. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't mean they don't like you or they're really into you or find you extremely attractive. Right. It's like they're really nervous. Yeah. And what I've noticed is that those white guys are just like 
nervous of being shut down or something could of that be, nature. Be, yeah. So I I believe it is. So they are very calm and quiet yeah. and not as straightforward like where a brother will just be like, yo, what up, mom? Like, hey, you are so fine. Like, hey, let me get your number. It's straightforward. There's no, like, you don't have to figure out anything. You know what it is. But yeah. with these types of white guys, you do. You have to just read their subtle cues. Yep. <laughs> this is the key. You're becoming a student. Of subtlety. <laughs> If you think the guy is worth figuring out, mm -hmm. if he's someone you're like, hey, I could see myself with that guy. Right, that's true. Then you want to go ahead and learn some of this stuff. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so number two. Mm -hmm. If he does talk to you, does that mean he's interested? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. It depends on the topic of the conversation and what he is doing during those conversations. Right. So let's say... Uh, you're talking about the weather mm -hmm. and nothing much else and he moves on. Chances are he's not he's terribly not interested. interested. It was yeah. just a moment where he felt like he needed to make small talk. Friendly. However, yeah. mm -hmm. if he's asking you, hey, I noticed you know here, you here and he's asking for information about you mm -hmm. or says, uh, will you be around? Will I see you again? Mm -hmm. Things like that. Or Those like some strong cues. Right, like uh, how many... How's your family like? Where do you come from? Yeah, like, wants to know about Right, yeah. someone who's very curious about you is yeah. someone who is, I think, interested. Asks about your <laughs> efforts at college, asks about yes, your studies your or goals. something. Yeah. <laughs> what is your future? Those are anyway, all. yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, another cue about uh, if he is talking to you, how much is he talking to you compared to other right. people in the Around same you. area? Mm -hmm. uh, like, say, at college or at work. Or wherever you are, wherever, how many church, other people at yeah. church is he carrying on a lot of conversations with other young women or people in the same manner he is with you? With you. Use it as kind of a ratio to figure out. Yeah. So like with um, with Jory, I would say maybe thirty five people in our math class, mm -hmm. and I have never seen him speak to any <laughs> of those people. But Except he somehow. Maybe like, Did you hear what the teacher said? Yeah, that exactly those things. But like. <laughs> He somehow took interest in me, and that's the only person he spoke to, right. like, yeah. in the class. So, yeah. like, I was just not <laughs> looking. So, yeah. all those signs, <laughs> those subtle signs. Thank like, God I didn't miss her. <laughs> she could have totally like, not seen it. Like, <laughs> straight past me on several, I think a, for a good two months, I didn't realize what was happening. <laughs> there are ways that you can eliminate things that could skew your data in this test. Mm -hmm. There may be things that could get uh, give you a bad reading on whether or not he's interested. interested right. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So like what you can do, like when he is, he shows himself like interested or like he's, he's making conversation, making, yeah. you need to be as like relaxed, welcoming mm -hmm. um as much as possible right. that way you create that environment of oh she's not as threatening as, as i thought mm -hmm. or oh that wasn't hard yeah. again <laughs> going back to jory and i like when he approached me after i was done working out and he was asking me all these questions i was like okay in my mind i was thinking this guy knows way too much about me maybe <laughs> he is in my class <laughs> But when I was talking to him, I was kind. And mm -hmm. um, after he told me he was struggling a little bit in math, I just kind of said, oh, like, if you need help, I'm totally here. Like, yes. let me know. <laughs> I'm willing to help you. Again, I did not catch the subtleties. <laughs> like, so, um, yeah, just be kind mm -hmm. in your conversation. Even if he isn't interested, right. just be a kind person. Right. You're creating yeah. a neutral blind study. Right. So you don't want to be flirtatious. Right. But you also don't want to be cold. That's right. You want to create a neutral, kind environment where he you can see which way he's going to go. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. Okay. So a definite sign that he's interested would be after that first time that mm -hmm. you've created this environment, mm -hmm and you've had a little bit of speaking, he would reach out again. That's right. So that's a definite sign that there's interest because if he was just being polite the first time, he probably wouldn't go out of his way right. or waste his time to speak to you again if he wasn't right. interested in something more. Intentionally, especially if there yes. are other people around that he could yeah. converse with. But he, if he's 
speaks specifically to you, right. more than likely he's definitely interested. Right. And those are those subtle signs, again, that we're talking about. <laughs> Instead of him just coming straight forward, be like, honey, boo, I feel you. <laughs> like, no, he is very calm, collective, right. and quiet, contemplative. Yeah, he thinks about it more <laughs> than just going he for goes it. For Number three. A way that you can know if a white guy's interested. Mm -hmm. They may go through a mediary to get to you. So like when I, my first job ever, um, <laughs> I worked um, at this restaurant. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, anyway, so after I would be in the back kind of watching to see what guests would need. Um, so like kind of scanning the room, but I would be all the way in the back. And um so there's this particular family that came in and like they're a very wealthy family and I noticed but like I wasn't I, I yo I don't know what was wrong with me. <laughs> I just wasn't checking for people like that especially in serious places like my work or mm -hmm. school like I just didn't think oh this could be potential areas for me to meet mm -hmm. uh certain people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um they leave one day and then my boss comes up to me and say, "Hey, this guy is really interested in you mm -hmm. and he wonders if he can get, if I can get your number for him. And I was like, what guy? And she was like, oh, with this family. And I was like, oh yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> so to me, it's just like, wait, what? Like, that's a thing. Like you can't come up to me and address me. You got to go through my boss. It was really <laughs> awkward, but whatever. <laughs> So yeah, they would try whatever they can to get to you, even right. if it means going, going through, through someone, someone else. Yeah. yeah. So they're definitely interested, obviously. If yes. They do that. Yeah. Right. Another subtle sign you can watch for mm -hmm. is what actions is he taking toward you, and what attention mm -hmm. is he giving you compared right. to other people. Mm -hmm. So we already talked about conversations he might be having, but now. Number four is what actions is he taking and what attention is he giving compared to other people other around? People. That's right. So personally, mm -hmm. uh, when I first started talking to Biname, I would wait outside class mm -hmm. for her if I was done before her. She was kind of a teacher's pet, so she would like stay after and <laughs> chit chat with the teacher about answers and try to figure things out and show how she did so well on her homework. Oh and stuff. my goodness, you sound like a hater. <laughs> She was really good. But anyway, uh, so I would wait outside the class and walk with her to her car mm -hmm. uh, or wherever she was headed. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, that's an action that I'm taking with her that that's I'm certainly right. not taking with anyone else. That's right. Um, or attention. I mean, that's that's similar for attention, right? Mm -hmm. like, if I'm showing you that attention, then that's a pretty good sign. Right. Um, some girls might just be like, oh, he's a nice guy. Right. That's nice of him. But... With a, with a white guy, you got to pay attention to every subtle sign. Yes, and I wish I was. I, I was paying <laughs> more attention or I was a student of subtleties because yeah. then I think I would have picked up quite early. Because like I said, it took a while for me to go, oh, this guy, is, he likes me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so any invitation at all to anything, a baseball game, a coffee, <laughs> even if it's like in a group, Mm -hmm. of people he's definitely interested um <laughs> anytime he says would you like to come wherever would wherever. you like to go mm -hmm. here i wanted to invite you to yes anything like that <laughs> that is <laughs> he's like hey is, i like you <laughs> right and that's why he's taking his time and making yeah. sure he's always around you right. even if it's with a group of um right people yeah that a bunch wants. of us yeah. are gonna go Right. Yeah. Would like, would love for you to come. Yeah. Like, yeah, I guess I should have stopped. It sounds like a group thing, but it's probably not. No, because he's watching you. <laughs> <laughs> and he handpicked you to come along. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I was going to say. Like yeah. in the midst of 35 students, yeah. you know, there were definitely women there that were attractive or could have been more friendly to him. But the fact that he just chose one yes. is a sign yes. also that... He could be interested and drop some comments down below what are some signs yeah. that white guys are you know my melanin queens like yes. what what did you see or what did your guy do that <laughs> like hey watch out for this yep. too as well yeah i'm you excited to hear, to hear your experience so speaking of coming down commenting down below 
we've noticed some uh -oh. matchmaking uh -oh. going on down in the comment section yes. below. So <laughs> one of my favorites was uh, a black lady uh -huh. that said on our comments, uh -huh. "Are there any single white guys here?" Right. Um, or what did she say? I'm. I pray that I can find. Oh yeah, that's was right. It like I pray that I can find a single white guy that'll treat right. me right or something like that. Uh -huh. And not too long after that, a white guy was like. Hey! It's been several of those. Yep, we've had hey, a few instances. You can keep on and keep it on. Just yes. make sure we get invited to the wedding, yes. okay? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is so nice it that is. people can meet and hopefully it's genuine and yes. it lasts a lifetime. Yes. So that is we love seeing that. It was like, <laughs> is this really happening in our content section? <laughs> we don't mind at all. Go for it. <laughs> right. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful mm -hmm. to the melanin queens out there looking Ooh. for a, a, a little bit of white chocolate in their life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I <mean. laughs> uh, and hopefully this helps you better understand how to watch for those subtle clues yes. that this white guy might be giving off. Mm -hmm. And let me address, in closing, yes. let me quickly address the white fellas out there. Yes. Now. Our khaki wearing fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all. He was one of them. <laughs> white guys, uh -huh. if you are interested in a black girl, mm -hmm. express it. Yes. Don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid mm -hmm. to go up to her and make contact. Yes. She, she does not mind you being direct. Mm -hmm. And she's used to that. She's used to that, yeah. And don't write yourself off right. before you get a chance to even try. Yep, because, because if you don't, somebody else looks natural. That's right, and if she's worth <laughs> getting a hold of, uh -huh. you need to go for it. Yeah, don't be nervous. <laughs> like Honey said, like we were watching something in, in the midst of our researching for this video, mm -hmm. and one girl said it right, like white guys that aren't as forthcoming or like as bold uh -huh. or in approaching a black woman, um, they're very vague. You yeah. never know like... <laughs> Where they stand. Where they stand. Yes. And that could be harmful to to you if you especially if you're interested because right. like I did to him, I saw him as a friend for a very long time. <laughs> so within those two months, if somebody would have been more direct, right. I don't know right. what would that have meant for Jory. But like yeah, it's <laughs> it's you have to be bold. Like you go for a job, you might or you might not get that job. You might or might not get rejected. Like mm -hmm. you gotta look at it that way. Like yeah, it's worth it's a shot. It's okay to be rejected. Yeah. Like we all have something. We've been rejected. It doesn't mean you'll never find the perfect person for you or the mm -hmm. right person that you can spend the rest of your life with. So if you haven't seen part one, what are you waiting on? If you're not following <laughs> us on Instagram, Ch check out Majestic underscore Family Eight. Yes, or or there. One of, but yes, follow us and we share some stories of our lives that we don't put on right. YouTube there. We'll give you so some snippets there. into our everyday life. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> we'll be there. <laughs> so with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up. So oh, anyways. <laughs> dear friends. Hey guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family channel. Uh-huh. My name is Jory and this <laughs> why is my... You why did you beat your chest so? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jory. Again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are not subtle at all now. Go ahead. Okay, today. Today. I need to remember what the title is. <laughs> Now. <laughs> or country. That's true. I feel like country guys would be like, hey, ma'am. Howdy, ma'am. I couldn't help but notice. I feel he's like. He's a fine young thing. I feel like they're very bold, too. They can be, yeah. 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 I feel. They're well, confident in their own way. Yeah. <laughs>